Hey, good morning, everybody. Just heard the silliest, you know, some of the worst information. We get great information on the internet, and I'm a big fan of YouTube and a lot of other social media, but some of the information we get is just downright stupid. It's really dumb. I heard one video, a podcast recently, and the su uh, supposed guru was telling everybody that hustling and hustle was a negative term, that you had to organize your business. You had to hire all your acquisition managers and all these employees and virtual assistants. And you've heard me on this theme before, guys. The thing about it is, for most of you starting a business, you've got to hustle. You've got to bust your ass. You've got to pick up the phone. You've got to learn the computer. You've got to do your own marketing. You've got to follow up. You do it all. Okay, when you're first starting, you don't want to raise your overhead until you're making a profit. Duh! You want to be in the black before you're in the red. But number one, I've been doing this for 32 years, guys. Honest, I just want to see you succeed. And I got to know, I run my whole business here from my desk. I have minimal employees. Most of my employees are uh, independent contractors, okay? I, I really don't want a lot of employees because I've been an employee. I'm a shitty employee, but I, I really am. I always watch the clock and stuff like that. The thing about it is you've got to be able, this is a sales-centric business, okay? If you can't convince, if you can't persuade another person to listen to you, to entertain in a good conversation with you, to give good phone, as I always say, i got to put up a banner behind me here. I'm in my Colorado home right now. Um, the thing about it is, it's all about the hustle. Hustle, to me, is a great word. Call me a hustler. Call me a salesman. I love it. I embrace it. You know why? Because I can always put food on my family's table. I can always take care of my responsibilities. But if you start a business and that business is working well and, and you're making a profit and you have that longevity, you know, you have, you have that seasoning. Okay, yeah, hire some people if they save you time and if they save you money. But for most of you getting started out there, just hiring a bunch of people out there to do the work that you're supposed to be learning and doing yourself will end in disaster. Take your Uncle Claude's word for it, okay? You gotta learn the hustle. You do every, in a business, you do everything, baby. You know, that's the way it is. That's just the way it is. But the bottom line is, giving good phone, getting on that phone, working on your sales and persuasion kit, uh, skills, not running out to every property, not driving around your car. I sit there at my desk. I have great Wi-Fi. I give, I talk to a lot of people every day and every now and then something wonderful, miraculous happens. That person says, yes, send me a contract. Let's do business. I want to learn more. That's how you make your business grow, especially for you people in real estate and in lease purchasing. But it doesn't really matter. Any business, sales is Sales is the, one, is the reason you go to the bank. Sales is how you make money. But don't start a business by hiring a lot of people and raising your overhead up. Most of us, if you study a lot of great salespeople, you study, you study Gary Vaynerchuk or my friend Grant Cardone or any of the great ones, they started on the kitchen table, basically. And that's, you know what, there's nothing wrong with that. I believe in the, in the American concept of low overhead and high profit. So when you hear a lot of people put hustling and, and just getting off your butt and making it all happen, that don't listen to them. Take your Uncle Claude's word for it. Get out there. Give good phone. If your business takes off, yeah, hire somebody and everything. But you know what? Employees can be a, a really good distraction. What they don't tell you is they hire people, they spend a lot of time training them, and then they disappear. Then the problems, the honeymoon is over, right? You've been employees. I've been employees. We know what it's like. The thing about it is, if your business went under, if, if you took it, you know my definition of success, last word before I go. I'm really rambling here, I'm sorry. But this is an emotional thing for me. I built this business, a multi-million dollar business from scratch by learning how to do this. And that's why I'm always telling you, give good phone. Learn the skills, the science of how to give good phone. But if you took everything away from me, everything, okay? You got me and you left me intelligent and God left me in good health, just get me to a phone. Let me speak to enough people. I'll make money. I'll make money. I'll make more money that week, that day, than most people will make it. Who, who knows how long? Because I have the confidence. I have the skill set. Focus on the sales. Focus on getting another person to trust you, to like you, to believe that you give value. That's how you run a business. It's called hustling. It's called salesmanship. And if you embrace, I'm losing my voice rate, <clears throat> but if this is how I built my business, this is how you build your business. Okay, don't get distracted by gurus with bad advice. They want you to spend money on a lot of shiny objects, a lot of different things. And when it comes down to it, there's somebody out there with a problem. And if they believe you have the trustworthiness to solve that problem, sound different on the phone. Don't read a script. You know that. I say it all the time. Just get on that phone, sound different, sound authentic, 
sound like you're the doctor in real estate or whatever you sell. And you will see magic happen every time. This is Claude with the way too long video. Thanks for joining me as you always do. Give me a thumbs up and share this with and subscribe and hit the bell and all the good stuff I always talk about if you enjoy this. And hey, I do answer my own phone. Why doesn't anyone else do that? 970-281-5151. Or go to my webpage, ClaudeDiamond.com, schedule a free, um, uh, free uh, coaching session, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.